Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out Call Bar version 2. Now this tweak's been out for a while, but it just got a huge update with a ton of features added to it and a couple of the important ones I'm going to show you today, but it's a pretty cool tweak and as you can see, here's the change log. It's just a, a huge amount of features that were added, but it does give you iOS 6's new reply with message. So if you do have a jailbroken iOS 5 device, you can add the reply with message feature that's normally only found in iOS 6 to your device. And you can also define those custom reply messages as well, just like you can on any other iOS 6 device. And I think this is one of the great features about Call Bar version 2 is what it adds for iOS 5 users, giving you that functionality that you don't have yet. So let me just go ahead and show you some of the options here. And like I said, this has been out for a while, so some of you may know about this. So when you install it, you have this little app on the screen right here called Call Bar. And you can also find those same settings within the settings app under Call Bar. So we'll just launch it from the app here real quick. So when you open that up, you have some options here. Enable Call Bar, use Call Bar for phone, FaceTime and you can also use it for outgoing calls. I'll show you that in a second. We also do have the reply with message portion here. So we can set a prefix and then we can also set the message presets here. Can't talk right now. I'll call you later. I'm on my way. What's up? But you can actually custom define this prefix right here, which is pretty cool too. I'm going to show you how the reply with message works here in real time. So let's turn on the call bar, make sure everything's enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself a call. So as you can see, I'm receiving a call right now and it just pops up as a little bar, just like the tweak is called call bar. If I tap on the phone icon here, we get a little options menu, decline, answer, and we can actually reply with message or remind me later. So if I tap on reply with message here, can't talk right now, I'll call you later. I'm on my way, what's up? And then we can send that text message and that will automatically go to my other device. It just popped up right here actually on the home screen. So that's a pretty cool way that you can get this iOS 6 functionality without having to upgrade to iOS 6, especially if you have a 4S, which is not currently available to jailbreak on iOS 6. And we also do have a wide variety of options to use call bar for outgoing phone calls. So if we have use call bar for all outgoing calls enabled, I'll show you what happens real quick here. Let's go ahead and make a phone call to Dom Mobile. And as you can see, it pops up right there at the top and we can go back to doing whatever we were doing, swiping around here. If we tap on the bar, we have a little option here. We can hold, we can add a call, we can go to speakerphone here. You can hear it ringing now and we can pull up a little keypad right there. And if you'd like to dismiss the call, all you have to do is swipe on it to end it. So that's just kind of a gist of how call bar works, but one of the main features here is that it does give iOS 5 users the ability to have the reply with message feature for iOS 6. So it's a pretty cool convenient option, I'd say. And you can also have it remind you to call that person back. We can set one hour or when I leave from wherever you're at. So we're just gonna set it for an hour and it will remind us in an hour to call them back. If we go to our reminders app here, you'll see call back Dom and it's set to go off in an hour at 6.09 p.m. If you'd like to check out Call Bar for yourself, it's available for $3.99 in the Big Boss repo. Go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty cool tweak and I highly recommend it. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.